What's up, fellow journeyers? This week is super special because we are hiking the Wave. The Wave is a sandstone rock formation located on the Arizona-Utah border, and it is one of the most sought after hikes in the country. More than 300,000 people apply, and only 64 people a day get a permit to hike the Wave. After years of applying, I mean, I'm not exaggerating, years, we finally got a permit to hike the wave. And we can't wait to take you along on this famous hike with us so that you can see it for yourselves. It's breathtaking. It's a bucket list hike. But first we have to get to the hike, which gives us a whole new set of challenges to overcome. See you in a few hours, Viva. <laughs> I'm nervous and excited. <laughs> You're hardcore. There's no way I was. No, I'm not to. hardcore. I have a, I have a fear <laughs> of being cold. It's, I'd rather be hot than cold. So I'd rather not have to carry your stuff the oh, whole way. I'm carrying my own bag. GPS, even with their thing, is still taking us to like just south of it. So we're gonna have to pay attention. And a lot of people recommend hiring a guide. We didn't. We brought Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> I have a beard. What, what did they say? 20% of people get lost on this trail or something? And we get lost on like well marked trails. But first adventure is can we even get to the trailhead because we know it's a mess and people have turned around and not made it in the last few days because of the terrain. What? Oh, I didn't tell you that part. We're, we're good to go. That won't be us. <laughs> Stuart's got his fancy lights out here. It just shows my concern level, you know? This is what I do. Can you be a little more concerned, though? <laughs> get the shot, Stuart. As long as you got the shot. I have no yeah, idea. I mean, at this point in time, I don't even need to steer. It just takes me where it Both wants me to Both hands on the wheel. There's a sheer <laughs> drop on the other. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> die. No, it'd just be a long day. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Oh, look at these ruts. Oh, Those are like a foot deep. It's got to have four by four. Do they, do they rent those a four by four? Look at this van up here. That's got to be stuck. Oh, we were sideways, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess so did. No, I didn't. How did they get that up here? Yeah, we debated bringing the Viva for about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the well, we debated it until we saw the pictures. Yeah, we got on all trails and started looking at pictures, uh, like updated pictures of what the status of the road right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Lindsay, are you? <laughs> Good job with the selfie stick. Yeah, thank you. This is great. <laughs> you hand your coffee, Stuart? What? Let <laughs> me hand you your coffee? No, what? Here, yeah, hold on. <laughs> there it is! We made it! Yeah! I'm already lost. We don't know where the trailhead's at. <laughs> Man, we are you like Marissa, she's child locked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Well, <laughs> Is this supposed to be flat over here, Stuart? Hmm. What? Oh, I lost my mud flap. Trail uh, damage. That was good. This is actually more domesticated than I expected. Like, I don't know, there's a little red building. I'm sure maybe they're checking permits or something over there. And then there's actually a bathroom out here. No cell signal, though. And we were definitely alone. Well, us and whoever this Jeep is, they beat us, but... <laughs> that and the two-wheel drive van that I have still have no clue how they got out here. Okay, as far as packing... Tell me what we got. You look like 
Stay puff over here. Right? It's got a, a base layer, long sleeve, sweatshirt, and down jacket. Fur lined. They're like fur lined leggings. Trail running shoes, wool sock, <laughs> gloves, hat. I think I'll be okay, hopefully. We thought it might even have snow. It's going through mud moisture so we've got extra socks and then we also brought so we got these hand warmers down in here and then we also have some ziploc bags that you know if it starts getting muddy we can put the ziplocs around our our bare feet our <laughs> sock feet or whatever a bunch of water snacks slash food and camera gear and of course i got my coffee because i always got my coffee <laughs> pro tip yeah hike with coffee in your hand and let that caffeine just dehydrate you that's like a that's a pro tip so nathan and i love to hike this year we got a permit to do half dome which was like the highlight of my year for 2022 nothing's gonna hold me down Um, with Team Journey, we did like a vision board of like what we want our upcoming year to look like. I put the wave on my vision board. I cannot believe that it is finally here. Everybody sign up. I know where to find our bodies. Water, watch for flash floods, and stuff is not marked. This is it. We're doing it. Officially started. <laughs> this is uh, six miles if we don't get lost. Three and three back. There are trails. The problem is they're like kind of like little trails all over the place. But for the most part, it's really not marked. So the map they gave us, they literally, it's like printed out pictures Well, to show you landmarks. But that's for a couple of reasons. One, because it's super secret. They don't want people to know. So when you win the permit, they give you like a special map. <laughs> they want to keep it natural. So really, it's not even a map. It's just like pictures. Landmarks. Uh, yeah. Landmarks. Now we do have GPS. We have, um, I have all trails and they say don't fully rely on those. Just like really with any GPS with Google or Apple, but. <laughs> Now, in my mind, even if we get lost, as long as we get rescued at some point, this is a win. We get a break from our kids. <laughs> and so does Stuart and Lindsay, so. This is a big deal. So we gave them all iPads and a box of cookies and said, we'll see you in seven hours and left them back now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Travis and Jess. They came all the way from Yuma up here so we could do this and they're watching our kids. You marking spots back there, Stuart? Huh? You dropping pins? It's not dog. Elephant. Keeping up with Marissa is like a workout for me. <laughs> I'm coming! Yeah, that took about 10 minutes. Now we didn't know for sure whether we'd be here today or not. Uh, we had a little mishap with the tickets. <laughs> there was some confusion <laughs> and we do not have our physical permits because as an RVer, you don't always get your mail shipped to where you are. We're hoping that they will print our permits because literally I did not sleep last night. I'm so anxious and nervous to see if they're going to say, oh, sure, this is easy fix. Here's your permits. Or if they're going to be like, those were mailed out to you. Those are your permits. If you don't have them, you can't hike. So I'm terrified. I'm going to go find out what they say. She tried to make me think it was no, but I don't know. Poke your face, and I was like, "You're not an actress." <laughs> wow. So you never know who you're going to meet on the trail. We met the coolest guy. He um, works for NASA, which I would totally go to space. He told me it wasn't going to happen in my lifetime, but he said I could apply to go to Mars. They're going to the moon in 2026, and Mars in 20. 36. Um, he's designing the rovers and stuff that are going to do that. But do it one more, Stuart. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. He's jumping on a cliff. I got to film it. There's a couple advantages of hiking in the winter. Um, as you see, there is no shade out here. So in the summer, in the heat with no shade, the straw gets hot and that can make it more difficult. Another pro is crowds are significantly less to the amount of people who apply in December, January, February. So your chances of winning a permit are slightly higher in the winter. We've got nicknames for pretty much everything out here because you're using visual markers. I think that's the teepees I think over there. That one had a nickname I think too over there. These are the twin buttes. You can't really see that they're buttes anymore. Uh, I think go left of that yeah. structure. Left and round. 
So the hike itself doesn't get a lot of height. It's all about the wave, but this hike is incredibly beautiful. I think that's it. This little area right here, you can see all the different striations in it. See it? Look at the snow. That's another amazing thing about hiking in the winter is just getting like that beautiful dusting. Sometimes you see the wave has some snow on it. We didn't want it to be covered in snow where we couldn't see it because that happened this week. Oh, that's incredible. Definitely one of those. <laughs> I feel like I'm in another world kind of places. In case you're wondering, we do still have cell service. We've actually had cell service almost the whole time. I thought we'd read that um, there wasn't cell service. I mean, and there's not in some parts. I guess it depends your carrier. We have Verizon. We got Verizon. <laughs> oh, we're getting close. You can start to already see the colors. Oh, wow. I'm getting excited. This is just the entrance. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not expect this. Wow. Dude. Dude. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of those things I always wondered. Is it better in a picture than in person? Because we've seen that sometimes. But I'm going to bet this is going to be even more epic. Because right now, just from this entrance, I mean, this is way cooler in person than, than photographs. This is so cool. Awesome. Looking back where we came from, it's like that looks kind of cool, actually. It looks really dangerous, Lindsay. You'll be proud. I'm doing dangerous things. Wow. So crazy. How many years do you think you've been flying? At least five, right? I would say. We, this we started is, to get this on. This is the... our NASA guy. He's been applying for six years. Uh, another tip on how to get a permit. He said he finally started applying as a single. The group, the I think, probably does matter. The smaller the group, yeah. the easier it is. So his wife is at the spa right now. And he it's came alone. He's a man's man. <clears throat> Deep in thought. <laughs> Regretting he didn't take a dump before he left. Yeah, he is for sure. True story. True. Did you dump before you came? Is that a pro tip? Stop. Not gonna lie, I did my business before we came. Plus, technically, you're like, I don't know how many pounds lighter while you're hiking. It makes sense. <laughs> if I fall, it makes it better. We could just sped that up in post, Stuart. You don't have to. <laughs> now we're checking out this canyon over here. This is nothing like what I expected. I don't think this is what I expected either. It's amazing, look at that. Your picture looks better than real life. No, it doesn't. It, it looks, does look better it, than that one does. It looks way better than it real life. No. So this is definitely bucket list stuff. Maybe you just get on a whole bunch of permit, every year you got a list of permits and you just go for them all every year. Just see what you get. Like this one of those is worth it. If you get it, you just fly out and do it. It's not just the colors, you've got like these sort of indentations and oh it's not just a smooth surface i think on camera it looks like a smooth surface but it's it's wavy <laughs> now if you win the permit to get this hike and you realize a i'm afraid i'm gonna get lost i don't want to do this by myself or b i don't have a vehicle to possibly handle the terrain here you can go hire a guide the guides do not need to have a ticket to get in they can just the guy can just go with you or you can rent your own jeep you know if you know the right vehicle and stuff like that too but another tip on how to get a permit is the weekdays so we applied for all tuesday wednesday thursday because your weekends and your mondays and fridays will be thrown in with the weekends so every month we would just apply for tuesday wednesday thursday tuesday wednesday thursday wow <laughs> This is like, you know when you see something in pictures for years and years and years and it's finally here. I think that's when you know something's epic is when you like, it's not just you see it one way. You can walk around and see it four or five, ten different angles of this place. It looks incredible. And then you've got the different light. When the sun starts coming through, you get a whole new shade of colors and textures coming in with the light, depending on what the light looks like. It's just mind blowing. Everything looks fake, Marissa. Everything I'm shooting, like right now. People are going to think this is a fake shot. Oh, definitely the crowds have shown up. At, it's 11 now. When we got here in the beginning, get here early for sure. So they had to start doing this by permit system and limiting the amount of people because the sandstone is so fragile. And if you can imagine if there's thousands of people every single day walking on this, how it would erode it down. But look at it. I mean, you can tell it's 
Definitely a very beautiful, fragile sandstone. What all do you guys bring? <laughs> Coffee? It's gonna smell so good. You guys drinking it, and I get to smell it. <laughs> it's gonna smell so good. Do I get We're to share it with you? We are. Is that freshly ground, Stuart? Yeah. Okay. All right. I wasn't. Dude, don't judge me. I wasn't you gonna drink it. You know it's freshly ground. I was not gonna drink it. I didn't think you would. I mean, you are. said you guys used to drink um, instant coffee from China. Well, we don't we literally had people getting on to us online. <laughs> of our inst instant coffee days. They served us well, but we know there's better stuff out there now. So. This is the uh, fancy version too here. <laughs> Got it. I think we were sitting here talking about how it's one of those... <laughs> it's one of those moments like you don't know if you're ever going to get to do this again it's just so like surreal that we're here it worked out that it may be one of those once in a lifetime things it's so beautiful it is focus our eyes on the journey stepping into the unknown waving goodbye to our worry so the main part of the wave is behind us but you can Keep going up and see more. Everybody's turned around looking. Is that a cool view yeah, behind yeah, me? Turn around. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Little rocks here. Hopping around up here. It's kind of like a turtle shells or something up here. Check out these colors. Whoa. Wow. It's like a playground for adults. Look at that. This stuff is everywhere. There's an arch up there too. Yeah. This is unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Don't miss the extras of the hike. There's You're already up here. Yeah, there's so much to explore and see. This is so beautiful. So we've mainly used all trails, but when we did our orientation, they said don't pay attention to all trails and the GPS and whatever, but like it it's been pretty accurate for us at least. Um I think there was one spot where maybe all trails was a little farther out of the way than maybe the other trail, but it was it all got us here. Look at this shot. <laughs> Got a reflection here. You got this texture here. You got some of the sandstone colors over there. You got the mountains in the background. Just, oh my goodness. That is a big pole, Stuart. I'm gonna take a whole bunch though. So. Yeah, you guys can do some looking out too. Give another like yippee type face. You're nailing it, girl. Good job. You want me up there? Am I gonna ruin it? Oh goodness, she's all zen up here. This is amazing. Whoa, check that out. It's nothing like it, huh? No. Doesn't look real. You don't even know what to do with it. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's insane. Go, Lindsay, go. You gotta stand on one leg when you get up there. Yeah, we'll hold on to each other's hands and balance one leg on that. No, we will not. <laughs> It's your chance, Marissa. You told me you were going to push her at some point. <laughs> Remember the payment. So weird walking on this. So this is called the what? Sand Cove. Sand Cove? Yeah, this is it over here. Well, you're standing on it. Standing on yeah, so it starts here, it looks like, and goes around. And then over here, too. And then it kind of fades out over there. So this is the second wave. The other one's definitely more epic, but this is still pretty cool. We're running out of time, so... So second wave, back over there, is the first wave. We so how we ultimately, we did those tips I've given you, and then the last one that worked was we found lucky friends because Stuart got in on his first time he applied, <laughs> which makes everybody so mad when he's like, I've been applying for years, me too. And then he's like, I got it my first try. So if you want to do the wave, it's definitely a bucket list hike. Um, I'm going to make a playlist with our bucket list hikes on that. I'd say this is top five. Well, that is our journey for this week. Until next week, we'll catch you guys later. You got to wave. It's you got to wave. It's the wave. Bye. <laughs>